partake of the sin of ecumenism, I am outside of salvation. It's just one of the many things that are pretty critical in the Eastern Orthodox Roman Catholic Church. And it's, it's the reason why ecumenism doesn't fundamentally work logically. Yeah. And what we also mentioned was uh, the Pope making statements outside in various places, according to Vatican I, and that's binding on all Catholics. Yeah. So when the Pope is speaking, in any context, in any situation, he's speaking on behalf of all Catholics. So when he goes to young Moroccan Muslims, I think in like 1985 or something like that, and he's talking to them, and he's saying, you and us believe in the same one true God, how can you... As Catholics and as Orthodox, well, Catholics, it's a Catholic, right? How can Catholic Christians in the park make blasphemous statements against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when their own Pope is saying they believe in the same God as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It's contradictory. It's, it's contradictory. It, 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 it says, obviously, like, I think Thomas, the other guy, because I tried to debate until he ran from me, but he, he basically just butchered the human gentium to you because I saw that and I was like, hold on. Catholic Catechism, mate, for what says they adore, together with us, they adore the one true God. That statement is very clear, it's not ambiguous, it's just like you adore the same God, right? And he's saying, oh well it is, there's a different way of interpreting it. No, it isn't. Okay, the Bible makes it very clear. We're to worship the Lord our God with all our heart, mind and soul, okay? So we do not adore the same God as Muslims, because the Muslims do not believe in Jesus Christ as God. It's fundamentally clear. But, but we're being honest, they're not. <laughs> That's the difference. Okay, we're not trying to find fame, I'm not trying to look for money, I could care less who likes me and who doesn't. If I wanted to, I would hang with Jay Smith, I would hang with David Woods, I would hang with all these individuals. I really could care less. Really what I'm trying to do is find sound doctrine. That's the truth of it. Okay? And if I'm truly a Christian, I must believe in the truth of the Bible. Right? We can't, Amen. We can't, we can't gather other places. Oh, no, to be honest, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you mentioned it. Okay, what I was going to say is, it truly is Islamophobic from their point of view because on what grounding are they being against Islam? It's just from their own personal bias and their own personal opinions. There's no grounding in their churches for being anti-Islam the way they are. So if there's anything that's Islamophobic for you guys, well, that is Islamophobic. The Pope prayed in mosques. Yeah. That's a literal abomination. In the Old Test Testament, have like you heard of Elijah and the, the, the two bears? Yeah, yeah. So, the bears come and attack Elijah. So you read the Fathers on this, they make it very clear that those two bears, in fact, were to maul, you know, the, uh, and you read other comments as well, they were to maul these, these um, young people because they were telling Elijah to go up and to serve Bell in his temple. We can't go into temples and worship other gods. We can't go in there. I cannot go in a mosque and pray before I can't do that. No, I mean, yeah, um, yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so, um, just for the message, I mean, this is the message that should go out to everyone, right? Yeah, 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 sure. So let me know when you guys are ready. Yeah. No, no, I was going to call you, I was going to call you. So, um, I'm here with Bloodfire. Uh, it's John. John. Of no course, on Bloodfire. <laughs> no course. And what we're talking about is the hypocrisy in the park to do with the ecumenical movement that are happening in the park. So, in the park, we have Catholics, Orthodox Christians, and Protestants uniting and saying they all worship the same one true God. The issue here is they are attacking Islam, they are making blasphemous statements against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what they're saying is, I don't even want to mention what they're saying, but there is an internal contradiction here because if Protestants, Catholics and Orthodox in the park are attacking um, our concept of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying um, derogatory things, they're not realizing if they're uniting with the Pope and they're uniting with the Vatican Council, they are attacking their own God. Yeah, I mean, just to, just to briefly run down, so according to the Roman Catholic Church, according to the papal bulls, by the way, papal bulls are something that are doctrine, they are dogma, you have to believe them, okay? According to Vatican I, for example, it states that what the Pope says in jurisdiction and judgment is infallible. That's Vatican I. The Roman Catholic Church teaches its doctrines have been known for all time. That's according to Vatican I as well. It says that the Pope of Rome is infallible. And yet Mortalium Animals, a papal bull, right, clearly states that the, um, the Roman Catholic Church has the fullness of faith and that you cannot partner with Petronas. So you cannot partner with a Protestant in the Roman Catholic Church. According to Unum Sanctum, a papal bull in the 13th century, um, done by Pope, um, I think his name is, I can't remember his name, but, yeah. 
Don't mind, Pun. It basically says that there is no salvation outside of the Roman Pontiff. So you can't be saved outside of the Roman Pontiff. According to the Eastern Orthodox canon, right, if you practice ecumenism, you are outside of salvation heritage. Even if you partner with such, knowing this and being an Eastern Orthodox, you are anathema. So they give an anathema to anybody who practices um, ecumenism. These things are not doctrinally sound. The Bible tells us clearly that there's only one God and only salvation through one name, the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? The Bible says we cannot venerate yeah. and pray to Mary or pray to Satan. Right? But the final issue is this. Right? Ecumenism fails because whilst attacking Islam and whilst attacking um, 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 other doctrines like Hinduism and stuff like that, their God and their Pope, right? Well, I'm going to say they're God because they have a whole system of magisterial right? But their Pope makes it very clear in the Catholic Catechism, right? In Catholic Catechism 801, for example, that they adore the same God. If they're adoring the same God as the Muslims, it makes no sense to come down weakly and to attack the Muslims. In our position, we can do so because we have a consistent theology of this, which is that the gospel says you must be born again, born through the spirit and blood of Jesus Christ and cleansed for salvation. And for just to add to that, if they're going to twist the same God as the you made, um, the Pope, when he went to the young Moroccan Muslims in, I believe it was 1985, I might be wrong there, he mentions to them they believe in the same one true God. So he adds true to that same So you can't twist this any further. The other thing is, he also, um, the latest Pope, I believe, in the Vatican Council, actually, in Vatican II, it mentions Muslims are included in the plan for salvation. Yeah. So what do you mean by that? So when it says Muslims are included in the plan for salvation, it makes it very clear that Muslims are adoring the same God. They're adoring the same God as the Roman Catholics. They make it very clear in their language. There's no way to deny this, right? There's no distinction between adoration. In our, in our Christian world, we're told, clearly, to worship the Lord our God and serve Him only, okay? We can't worship any other gods. Part of that is adoration. The book of Exodus 20 verse 5 tells us that we should not serve our idols or worship them, right? And it's very clear, if you read the story of Elijah and the two bears, right? The reason why the young people were moved is because they were telling Elijah to go up and to worship in the temple of another god. Now, Pope Francis and John Paul, John Paul, sorry, John Paul II, the Pope, right? They both prayed in mosques and they both stated openly that the Muslims are worshipping the God of the Bible. They're worshipping the true God, okay? This is heresy, this is unbiblical, and this is why it's important to call out the ecumenical movement. And from a Muslim standpoint, um, I don't believe in the Christian position, so they can believe what they want. I mean, it's great from my position that they're working in unity with Islam after all of these years. Even in Vatican II, it talks about moving on from historical issues that we've had as Christians and Muslims and trying to move to a path of peace and unity in the future. And I, I'm pleased that those statements are in the councils. But the issue is, you have Catholics here that are attacking Islam, which is going against their own teachings, as um, John has mentioned. So you are excommunicating, you are excommunicating yourself from your own church and you're attacking Muslims here in the manner that you're doing it. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, all, yeah. For sure from a Catholic perspective, you have a different concept of God that Muslims have compared to Muslims. Yeah? But you're not attacking the concept, you're attacking the actual entity. And your church is very clear, as Jono mentioned, that we both, from your perspective, we both worship the same entity. Both adore, remember that language, adore. Right? This is a full-on veneration, right? But the Bible says clearly you cannot have the Father without the Son. Okay? So that's the distinction. We do not venerate idols. We do not worship Mary. We cannot be We do not worship the, the God of Islam. We make that distinction. That distinction is important. Jay Smith, Bob the Builder, David Woods, and many other figures have come down to this park and had union with ecumenical Roman Catholic teachings. I tell you the truth, that's enough to your church. You can get I'm going to say this openly, if you guys are hypocrites, any more Roman Catholics who's not watching, come down the park, we can have this discussion in the camera. Yeah, and, um, sorry, just five minutes. Yeah. Um, what I was mentioning about um, Morocco, when the Pope went to the Moroccan Muslims, the young Moroccan Muslims said we worship the same one true God. Um, that's binding on all Catholics because in Vatican I, you mentioned yeah. that any statements by the Pope are infallible and binding on all the church. Yes, yeah, of So, there we go. So, Hopefully, inshallah, from this point onwards, all you Christians and all you Muslims are educated on the fact that the Catholics have to respect the Islamic God. And I just want to add one thing, right? Currently, right now, 
and this is something which has been going on for years, right? Currently right now, the ecumenical movement, especially the, the World Council Churches, is aligning with Muslims, Shias, um, Sunnis, um, who are Muftis or Imams, they're aligning with them to sort of bring about, about the World Council of Faith, right? This is what happened in 2021, right? You can look it up online if you want to, okay? This is an abomination, right? We are to serve Jesus Christ, we're to worship him and love him, right? We cannot align with Islam Orthodox and Roman Catholics or Muslims until this is changed, okay? Until they all become born again through the blood and spirit of Jesus Christ. Amen. I mean, that's all I need to say. Well, God bless you, man. I'm going to take it out. Amen. I'll say, uh, you know what I'm saying, man?